NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Chicago Bears and the Houston Texans. All that and more coming up next. In the only building this franchise has ever known. We're at the home of the Texans. Welcome to NRG Stadium in Houston. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can grab if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage, Maybe six points, too. Kaimi Fairbairn ready to get this one going. And away we go from NRG Stadium. Vanless Jones now on the return. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. So out come the Bears, ready for their first possession. And leading them out to the number one overall pick in this year's draft out of USC, a player with immense promise, Caleb Williams. Doesn't it feel like Caleb Williams has been like the number one pick for the last three years? This guy just does things no one else can do. Seeing him in person a number of times, Kate, in college, truly, he could be an NFL running back. But man, he throws it so pure, a quick release, an accurate passer, now he's just got to learn this NFL game. It's a more condensed box. There's a whole lot more contact. And protecting that football and protecting himself will be critical. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way. And that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot. Second down coming up. Second and 10. Need to get some positive yardage here. Working from the gun, Williams. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. 12 yards on that play, and a good call nets him the first. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Now here's DeAndre Swift on the ground. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. <laughs> he ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. Second down now, seven to go. Going to run again with Swift. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down, but instead they move the chains, and that is one disheartening look on that defense. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Staying grounded with Swift. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right? they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger. But that back remains hungry. First down, Williams. Komet brings it in. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage. He gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. Finds his target, Allen. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that's a Chicago first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play.
They are now set for first and ten. From the red zone now. Bails out of the pocket quick. Now here he goes. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short gain to show for it after sliding down. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs, but so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. Here's Swift on second down. And this is brought to a halt pretty early at about the eight. Give him two on the run. That's going to set him up with third and four. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it will largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Off the play fake, Williams. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. And fourth and four coming up. Well, he had the space from the defender and the concentration to make a great catch. What he didn't have... After some pondering on the sideline, yep, there it is. Matt Eberflus has indeed thrown the challenge flag. Oh, this one is really close, Brock. Did he establish possession and then get both feet down? Yeah, maintaining possession while being a ballerina, not always easy. <laughs> a lot to look at here, but I know he thinks he's got a touchdown. So a very early challenge, but a good one. Calls over turns, and that's going to unlock a third challenge for them if it gets to that point later in this game. Now Cairo Santos on to add the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send and fly. Here's Steven Sims with the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. So now it's the Texans' turn to take the field for the first time. And leading them out is someone who became an absolute superstar last year as a rookie. Drafted second in 2023, it's C.J. Stroud. C.J. may not have been the number one pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, but he was clearly the number one rookie in all of the NFL last year. Near unanimous rookie of the year. In fact, even earning MVP votes, Kate, it wasn't just a little bit of a rebound and a rebuild for Houston. It was a remake in a hurry. And what can he do in his sophomore season? It will be must-see TV. First down, Stroud. He'll just huck this one into row C, and some lucky fan is going to haul in a heck of a souvenir. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Running for the first time with Joe Mixon. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite out of the big meal between them and the first down marker. And that, that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. Throwing on third down, Stroud. The Bears closing in, and they'll get him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. It's exactly how you draw it up defensively. A three and out and a sack on top of it. Create that negative play. Create a little doubt in that quarterback's mind. And offensively, well, that's the worst way to start it. No rhythm, no tempo. And now you give the ball right back to the opponent.
Texans going to kick this away on fourth, and it's Tommy Townsend on for the punt. Back deep for the Bears is DeAndre Carter. And he's calling for a fair catch, which is made at the 33-yard line. We don't get a return out of that punt. And it's going to be Bears football. Here's first and ten from the 34. Out of the gun, here's Williams. Hits his target, that's DJ Moore. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. So many cool fundamentals on display right there, Kate. Look the ball in your hands, number one. Don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you. And then when you've got that catch secured, snap that head forward and find that space upfield to turn a good play into a great play. That throw finds Komet. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It goes as a pickup of 37 yards. And now they have a first and goal. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Running behind center with Swift. And he takes this one in for a Chicago touchdown. The Bears pull out in front further, 13 zip. DeAndre Swift, the touchdown. To rock this offense, looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Santos now for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send in fly. He fields it from the eight. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Now we'll see the Houston offense for their second drive of the contest. And they haven't gotten their legs under him on offense just yet, Brock. Three plays and a punt on their opening drive. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. On play action, here's Stroud. To the left sideline, complete. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. It's round throwing here on first. Deep down the right sideline, it's his running back making the catch. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. I don't know about you, Kate, but I think somebody's auditioning for some extra work as a receiver. If he could do that coming out of the backfield, imagine the damage he could do if they sent him out into one of those spots out wide. 
First and 10, or on to Mixon. And that run very short, only getting to the 27. We'll pause now for an injured player, and it looks like he's worse for wear after handling that last carry. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's a handoff to Akers. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. I talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet, have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. Texans will reach pay dirt for the first time this game. Well, great work there, Bronk. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. And the words of Pete Carroll resonate. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Here's Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. Chicago getting set to take the field now. And that lead they've got, Brock, they are never going to have to worry about losing it if they keep scoring every time they touch this football. Is that how it works? It, it surprisingly is. You know, if you have the lead and you don't lose it, you win. <laughs> <laughs> and that type of start? Well, you wanted all 17 games of a season, but you're lucky to get it more than once. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's Swift to start the drive. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. And time runs out before they get the snap off. That's the end of one. Neither side separating much so far. We'll make our return to NRG Stadium after this. We're back and all set for the second quarter. Bears football. They have second and pretty long here. Pinned off running right. Here's Swift. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. He didn't get anything on that run, so struggles on the ground, leaving them with third and long. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. Williams from the gun. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Taken away by the rookie from USC. And the Texans get it back after a marvelous defensive effort. Well, I know I don't need to tell you, partner, but if you're going to try to get aggressive, really push a throw downfield like that, 
You have to be smart about how you do it. Yeah, that is spot on, Kate. If you've got to find that spot when you know the coverage won't be able to hold up, especially as you go 20, 30, 40 yards down the field. Hey, listen, these defenders in the league today, you throw a ball deep down the field like that, it turns into a 50-50 ball. More times than not, they can make a play and take it away just as they did. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's Stroud. Finding Collins. And they stop him. He's marked down along that 18-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it sets up a Houston first. I love throwing a first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Here's Stroud on first and ten. This throw is caught. And they get this down to the seven-yard line. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. They're going to run here. It's Mixon. And he gets them a little closer to the end zone, down to the six. It's a gain of two on the play. Still some work to do on second and goal. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Throwing his crowd. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. It's a Stephon Diggs touchdown. Slant route as it does so many times every game we call, Brock. Paying dividends made that touchdown look a lot easier than it was. An uncontested release that close to the end zone spells disaster for a defense every time, Kate. You got to have a whole lot more physicality at the point of attack because a QB is always going to be looking for that short little slant near the goal line. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up. set up for the kickoff. His return starts at the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. That one is caught left side of the field. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. Williams on the play action. Able to get it to Moore. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. An excellent gain, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down.
Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Now an inside handoff to Swift. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. On the carry, it's Swift. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just one yard on the carry, though. It's third and seven now. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Third down. Here's Williams. And he'll score. Touchdown, Chicago! The Bears take a second-quarter lead. It's a Keenan Allen touchdown. It's plays like this that make him so well-regarded across this league, Brock. Yeah, such so just a difference-making receiver, Kate. Yep. You expect him to be the target down here. You did, I did, the defenders did. But what makes him a star is even when people know his number's being called, he still finds a way to deliver. Santos now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send and fly. Damian Pierce now to return it. His return makes it up to the 25. The Texans and Stephon Diggs getting sent for this next offensive possession. And they're a touchdown back, Brock, as they take over down 21-14. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Now begin with a run by Mixon. And he'll get it up to the 27. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. On the ground again with Mixon. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just one yard on the carry, though. It's third and seven now. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Tommy Townsend on to punt. First punt win 45 yards. This looks considerably further. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And it'll be their football. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Williams will look to throw. Moore's got it! And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. 
16 yards on the play. And that's good for a Bears first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. To hit a curl route of that length, it takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Just one play into this drive, and they're already sitting on their own 45. Williams to throw on first. Allen there to haul it in. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Running with Swift out of the gun. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. They only get a yard that time, and we have reached the two-minute warning. Third and four coming up now. Now Williams. Allen on the catch. Give him 30 yards on that one. And that's a Chicago first down. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and 10 from the red zone. Working inside the red zone. Has his man, it's Swift. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting to gain just a few yards. You call it, expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it, to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. Working from the gun, Williams. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Derek Stingley Jr. To the 30. Gets the 10. And forget the interception. He makes this a pick six touchdown. That play, Brock, that play was beautiful. Not just making the interception, but then seeing the return slowly come together in front of him as he took it all the way to the house. Yeah, I think even for us up here in the booth, it looked like a scene out of a movie, didn't it? Starts running <laughs> yep. the back, scans the field for a lane, then the blocks come just in the nick of time to wipe out the would-be tacklers, and he's got open space and nothing but the end zone in front of him. Fairbairn now for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. Redemption after that pick six as it's sent away. Has this at the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Bears and Caleb Williams running out for their next drive. And we're all hoping his hot start can continue. He has been putting up some numbers early in this contest. They're out and set, first and ten. After the pick, here's Williams. And he finds a seam down the middle, complete. And he'll score, touchdown Chicago! The Bears get some late points and the lead. It's a Roma Dudes, a touchdown! I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. 
Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. Santos now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send and fly. Returning it from the four. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. The Texans going on offense now just before halftime. And normally they'd need this out, Brock, but facing such a small deficit, good chance they try to get a field goal here before the break. First and ten now from the 30. Shotgun now for Stroud. Quick hitter complete. They get 28 out of that play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Just excellent effort on that catch. And a lightning quick transition from bringing that football in to getting vertical. He was not content for a second to end that play where he caught it. Uh-uh. Any catch he makes, his intent is to put some serious yards on top of it. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. First down, Stroud. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. From the gun, Stroud. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he gets this forward to the 19. Houston calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. To the air yet again, it's Stroud. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Trying to find Stephon Diggs. And what will they dial up on third and short? Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Throwing now, third and two. Cut near the goal line. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans earn the chance to tie before halftime. Now the second time we've had the privilege of calling a touchdown pass to him in this opening half, Brock, and you're starting to get the feeling that he isn't done yet. Well, but defensively, Kate, you got to do something different. It's kind of like a pitcher who gives up a home run and then a second home run to that same guy. You are not going to give him a pitch to hit, and this defense has got to start taking this receiver away. Fairbairn now for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up.
Air Baron has it all set up for the kickoff. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Bears ready for their next series, let out on offense by their quarterback. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. And even 20 seconds left at their disposal on the final drive of this half. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And he'll go down. It will say right at the 39-yard line. They have themselves another first and ten. Williams from the gun. Down the middle, complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They're set up at the 35 now. First down, Williams. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. All right, timeout taken by the offense. Five seconds left, and they can take some points into the locker room on this final play of the half. The Bears bring on Cairo Santos for the field goal. It's a 34-yarder from that right hatch. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And they've taken back the lead. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them the lead. Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. All right, this is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. Looking to throw. He lost it. Deep left. And this is going to end up incomplete. Really aired it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bears in front. Now we'll head over to Orlando, Florida. Check in with Jonathan Coachman for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate. Thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the rookie from USC, Caleb Williams, who was looking the part. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. Starting from the five. This return makes it up to the 25. The Texans and C.J. Stroud all set to go for their next drive. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, is touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game.
They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Staying between the tackles with Mixon. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. That's the kind of run play that feels like tug of war at field day. <laughs> and you're just not moving the other side. Just a short run. Neither side feels particularly good about it. And we'll move to the next. Second down now, seven to go. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's out of bounds, just a step short of the 40. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Shroud. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled for a short game. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Here we go, second and nine. Cut by Collins on the slant. And that will not be enough for a first down. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Third and just two to go. Running left is Mixon. First down and more past the 40. And he's all the way down to the 32-yard line. It's a 21-yard game. And it sets up a Houston first. Best run games in this league at balance. Can run it inside. And as they just showed right there, doing damage on the outside. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Here's Stroud on first and 10. Sends it to Diggs along the sideline. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off. After some pondering on the sideline, yep, there it is. Matt Eberflus has indeed thrown the challenge flag. Well, we're going to see how much of a sideline maven he is, Brock. This one very close, whether he got the feet down or not. And I'm so impressed by all these mavens because you've got to make that <laughs> transition from college where one foot, you're good. Yep, yep. But not at this level. You've got to be a ballerina. You've got to get those toes both in, and the replay booth will be the judge of it. So even after the second look, the call remains the same. And with it, they're officially out of challenges. All set up now for first and ten. A give to Mixon up the middle. And he manages to reach the 19 before he stopped. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. From the 19. He's on the move. Now he takes it. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Running with Mixon out of the gun. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. 
Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans take the lead right away in half number two. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. So that, Brock, an important score here as they move out in front. This is the time of the game where your legs just get a little bit tired. But that was a determined-looking drive right there. They were not going to be denied, and they're able to score and take the lead. Fairbairn now for the PAT. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. has it all set up for the kickoff. Here's DeAndre Carter with the return. Finds some space. He's past the 30. They'll bring him down on the return as he gets this to the 33. The Bears are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense will probably rather forget. Ball at the 33 for first down. Out of the gun, here's Williams. Pass caught by Adunze. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Williams on the play action. Komet brings it in. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Williams to throw on first. To the left sideline, complete. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. Out of the shotgun again to Swift. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. An offensive group really hoped he was going to get it all right there. Reset it back to first down. But instead, the defense, well, they're not going to let anything come easy. And their fight is giving them a chance to stall things out on third and short. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Going run again with Swift. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. That is your old-school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. We're slated it down to approach here from the 40. First down throw by Williams. Fires down the middle, and it is caught. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. They pick up 20 yards there. 
And that's good for a Bears first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. From the red zone now. This finds Everett complete. And they get this down to the ten-yard line before going down. It's a double-digit gain, ten yards, and now they've got first and goal. And those are the completions they rely on in their passing game. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Here's Williams. And like an empty wrapper, he just throws that one away. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. On the give, it's Swift. And he'll push them down to the six-yard line. Give him four yards, and they're sitting on third and goal now. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. Third and goal. It's Williams. And it's caught. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? He's back to throw. And he'll score. Touchdown, Chicago. The Bears grab the lead on their first series of the half. So that, Brock, an important score here as they move out in front. You know, Kate, this is the time of the game where fatigue starts to set in every once in a while. But that right there was a determined-looking drive. They were not going to be denied and able to score and take the lead. Santos now for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send and fly. Fielded at the seven. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. From the gun, Stroud escapes the pocket. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. A touchdown aside in that frame as we run out of time in the third quarter. The Texans have it to start, coming in trailing on the scoreboard. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Another try following the sack. Finding Collins. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first.
This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Shotgun now for Stroud. Pass taken in by Diggs. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Give him 32 on the play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. If only every completion could get that kind of result. That's good enough to knock a defense flat on its back. Following that last play, want to keep that pedal down. First and 10 from the 45. Motion in left is their running back. Pass caught by Mixon. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. To the air yet again, it's Stroud. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he runs this to the 25 before being brought down. It's a pickup of 11. And it sets up a Houston first. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Offense set for a first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Brown. And he's got enough to move the sticks. Every tight end worth the salt wanted this. Really craved man-to-man -man coverage. The best of them, give me man-to-man -man coverage and I'm going to beat you. I was around Dallas Clark and Indy, one of the best. You play man-to-man. -man, He's going to find a way to out-leverage you, separate from you, and make a play just as that tight end did. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Out of the shotgun, a give to Mixon. And he'll get this across. Touchdown, Houston. The Texans take a fourth-quarter lead. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. Now a try to go up by four, put it out of the range of a field goal. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. has it all set up for the kickoff. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he showed some burst on that return, getting them all the way to their own 40. The visitors headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And like we've seen from them before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. The Bears with some nice field position as they get sent. First and ten. Off the play fake, Williams. Got him in open across the field, complete. And he works this to the 38 before going down. They get 22 on that one. And that's a Chicago first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. First down, here's Swift. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold at the line. 
Following the run, we see he's still out there dealing with some sort of injury. They'll head out to check on him. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Williams from the gun. Moore's got it! And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Bears first down. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl route, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. Trying an inside give to Herbert. And he can only manage one yard. The defenders were at the ready to bring him down. Okay, this is why you got to be careful to just run it always on first down. you got to break your tendencies. The casual fan, well, that casual fan knew what was coming. But more importantly, this defensive front did too. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Now here's Williams. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And brings up third down. You know, Kate, that was one of those situations where you hear a quarterback having a clock, right? You know, and he ended up time in the pocket. But then it was like, okay, time is running out, and I got to do something. He did not force a throw and risk a pick. Instead, he just got rid of it and cut his losses. Left side gets it out quick, and it's caught. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. That one's complete right side. And they get this down to the seven-yard line. It's an 11-yard gain to back up the considerable gamble there on fourth down, and they move those chains. Oh, so close to getting off the field. But the fourth down conversion keeps that defense out there. That was their shot to end this possession, to sit on the bench, to get their breath. But now they're going to have to buckle down and force another fourth down. And they'll make this stop after a small push to the five. Give him a couple on the run, and it's now second and goal. Williams set to pass. And it's caught. And he'll head out of bounds after a short game. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. They'll run with Johnson. And they'll get there and stop him at the line. Nothing on that play. And now it's fourth and goal from the two. That's one of those plays, Kate, as an offense that just sticks with you a little bit. It bothers you that you just can't convert on a very manageable down and distance. And on the other side, that sure gives you some confidence defensively to get off the field. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. Back to throw it. And he'll score. Touchdown, Chicago! The Bears take a fourth quarter lead. It's a Keenan Allen touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. The impact this guy has had on this game, Brock, has been massive. They'd be on the comeback trail right now if it wasn't for his two touchdowns. Yeah, and that second one far bigger than his first when you just look at the game circumstances. Puts him in front here in the second half and puts a little jet fuel in the engines of their defense. Pretty important PAT here, Brock, to make it a field goal game. That one right down the middle. 
And they'll continue adding to their lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send in flying. His return starts at the five. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. Now we get a look at this Texans offense. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. Trailing by one score late here. Caden, maybe this is the return. Maybe this is what helps them get right back into it. Good field position now to start their most important series yet of this game. It's round throwing here on first. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Trying to find Stephon Diggs. And now they face second down. You know, he's not going to be happy the catch was almost made, but he's going to be thrilled that he broke it up. Gives him a chance to do a little jawing after the play. Let that other guy know he just roughed him up and lost a big catch. Second and ten, surround the throw. Cut by Diggs. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 27 on the play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Here's Brown now. Has his man. It's Mixon. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward. Keeps you on schedule and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second and six coming up here. Here he is to throw. Into traffic, complete. And he's taken down at the 30. They get an even 10 on that play. And it sets up a Houston first. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. Looking to throw it. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. And it's going to be second down. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. To throw. Collins there to grab it. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. Timeout coming from the Texans. That's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Two timeouts remaining and some time left to use them. It's first and ten. Now to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Nico Collins, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. Throwing now. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. Third and just two to go. He's back to throw. This one's caught. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Houston calls it second timeout. 
Still one more in their pocket to use. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. He'll look to throw it. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. A tight end in motion now. Running it with Mixon. And they'll make this stop after a small push to the five. Final timeout called by the Texans. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. Kaimi Fairbairn on now as we see how he handles this moment. Timeout taken by the defense. They're second. Still one more in their pocket to use. Now it's Kaimi Fairbairn on to try it for the Texans. Pretty easy kick here, Brock. Just 22 yards. Looking good, and it's through. And inside the final minute, they've tied this up. These are the moments, Kate, when you realize how valuable a clutch kicker is. When he's the only guy out there and everybody relying on him. And he delivers. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. The visitors and DJ Moore back in possession here. And there's enough time left that you can't call it impossible. But they're going to need a heck of a play downfield to get in range for a possible game winner. First and ten now from the 30. Back to throw. Allen on the catch. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. The Bears going to use their third and final timeout. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. Time not on their side here as they get set for first down. No timeouts remaining either. Setting up to pass. He just throws this one away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Here he is to throw. This to win the game. Oh no, they get him yet again. Jeff Okuda with the INT. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the field. Ball game's not over just yet. Don't leave those seats. The interference call means we're going to have an untimed down here. The kick is good. He got it. 
And the third time he puts it through will be the charm. They've won it. So the Bears take this one on the road. And with overtime in their back pocket, they weren't going to lose it at the end, but they still managed to set up the field goal, and he executed the game winner. What a memorable way to win it. So for my partner, Brock Heward, and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.